Hi, my name is Rachel Fecco. I am a full-time librarian, fortunate enough to have full health coverage for myself through my job. Um, I have four teenagers and I am not fortunate enough to be able to afford to purchase that same health insurance for them. I do make little enough to qualify them for CHIP. Um, my oldest is now 19, so he is no longer eligible for CHIP. He um, receives Medicaid, which I am thankful for. But if any of you know anything about CHIP or Medicaid or private insurance, you know all about jumping through hoops. And over the years, as my insurance coverage for my children has changed, we have had to change providers, which sometimes is no big deal. But when you're talking about mental health, it's a big deal. The continuity of care for mental health is even more important than for any other area. And I have experienced firsthand um, the devastating consequences of not having continuity of care, having long waiting lists, um, especially once my children were on a chip and now Medicaid, you can't just go see a psychiatrist. Um, the waiting lists are months long. And if you wanna see a psychiatrist, you have to also see a therapist. Um, with also long waiting lists and lack of communication between the two. Just finding somewhere that accepts Medicaid or CHIP um, can be a challenge. It has meant serious consequences for my son with his mental health. And we have spent many nights overnight in the ER trying to get mental health care for him um, because the only way really to move beyond the waiting lists is to go to the ER and say that you're suicidal. So even though my son wasn't, he was in severe distress, however, the only way to get care for him was to go to the ER where he did not receive adequate treatment. He experienced callous doctors who were not trained in dealing with mental health emergencies and um, finally was only admitted to a facility um, by saying he was suicidal. And once he received care, several times he's been inpatient, um, was discharged to an aftercare program that seemed fantastic and that um, the facility told us would take his um, insurance. However, after being in that aftercare um, facility, we realized, no, they didn't. So now I have a bill that is unpaid and I don't know how I'm gonna pay it um, because it's not covered and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I just want you to imagine a country where every person had quality, free access to mental health care. How many fewer people would be struggling? How, how much less crime there would be? How much less domestic violence? I'm fortunate that my son's issues haven't dealt, uh, haven't led to um, criminal activity or any physical danger to myself or my family or to him. Um, but he's only 19 and I fear for his future and I fear for the future of all people struggling with mental health, especially those that don't have any coverage. There is absolutely no reason that every person should not have complete, full, quality, free mental health care. I'm begging you to support the cause for single payer health care. I'm begging you to urge legislators to support this because it is the only way forward. As long as there is a profit incentive, which there is with private health companies, we will not have the care that we need. So please support the movement for single payer health care, get involved on a local level, and continue to push your legislators. For my son, for your own family, for the good of everyone in our country. Thank you.